Hey guys, I'm Koi coming along with my year update of my nipple piercing experience. I got my nipples pierced July 3rd of 2015 and it is now November 18th, 2016. So it's been well over, damn near a year and a half. My bad y'all <laughs> for waiting so long to do my update. But nonetheless, here's my update. Um, yeah, it's been almost a year and a half. And the only, in the last update video I gave you guys was at the six month mark. So the only real thing I can give you between six months and a year and a half is that the cleaning process never stops. Oh my gosh, the cleaning process never stops. I would have thought that, you know, with nipple piercings as they heal because my nipples are fully healed now I thought that when they when they were healed you can slow down no <laughs> you can't you have to constantly clean them as if they're new and it is what it is it's the price you pay for having nipple piercings <laughs> you know with your ears you know you can go a week without cleaning them with earrings in not your nipples honey no <laughs> you know the cleaning process does not stop so that's the only real update between the six months and a year to a year and a half now why did I wait so long to do this video I waited so long because I had some major trauma my nipple got cranky and angry with me and I had trauma and I had to wait until the trauma died down <sighs> you know before I did my update um the trauma was so bad, you guys. Like, I thought my barbell actually went through my nipple hole. It hurts so bad. So bad. But it didn't. Nonetheless, I'm okay. I just had to wait a couple of months for the second healing process. And, uh, yeah. Now, one thing that I did notice after my trauma is that I started to get crusties. If you guys have been keeping up with my journey, uh, you guys know I, I've never had crusties. I've never had crusties. I've never had a smell. My, actu my healing process has actually been gorgeous, flawless. But after this trauma, I started to get crusties. It, it scared me a little bit because I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> but... It is what it is. It's one of those things that happen. And it, if you get them, you get them. If you don't, you don't. It's going to continue to happen. Healed piercings and all. You're, it's going to happen. It is what it is. Another price you pay for having nipple piercings. <laughs> Another thing that I started to notice after my trauma was that I started to get a smell. And... I, that frightened me too. So I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Smelly nipples are not sexy. <laughs> so uh, I researched that smell. Now, it wasn't a loud smell. It wasn't a smell where I'm just walking out in public and people are like, what's that? I would actually lift my nipple up to my nose and smell it. And I noticed that it would come, like I would shower. Two days later, I would have the smell. I would shower. A day later, I would have the smell. And I, I had to research that because I didn't think it was a uh, normal. And come to find out, it actually is normal. It's normal for your piercings to smell. And people with stretched earlobes get it too. Now, it's normal because your piercing hole is another surface for your body that your body has to get rid of dead skin, dead skin cells on. So being that your body naturally produces oil, uh, you get rid of dead skin cells at an alarming rate. It's just another surface that your body has to get rid of all of this stuff. And then we naturally have bacteria on our body that feeds on the dead skin cells and the oil that our body produces in smells happen that's why you have to shower every day right <laughs> so i noticed that started to happen too and come to find out it's normal now i make natural body products i have experience with mixing oils and other ingredients to get to a certain outcome so after i researched what was going on because I had to get rid of the goddamn smell. That smell is not cute. So 
I came up with an oil. I came up with an oil that includes natural ingredients that I actually put on the jewelry itself and in my nipple uh, hole. And since I've been using that mixture, the smell has... I've been able to keep the smell away for at most 14 days. Now I'm still showering. I take two showers a day. I'm still showering. But with the use of that oil, the smell has been gone for at most 14 days. Now, that's my update, you guys. I have nothing else to give you <laughs> with this update. You get crusties, you're always going to get them. You're always going to have to clean your piercings as if they're new. Now, anybody watching this video and you have stretched earlobes or if you guys have piercings not just nipple piercings that smell you know your nose piercing or uh any piercing anywhere and you guys want to try this oil out i have no problem sending you guys a sample because i'm actually trying to take this product to market so contact me below just leave a message or email me let me know where your piercing is and where to send the oil to i have no problem sending out the oil to you guys only catches that i require is that you give me a review of the product um oh and the piercing cannot be on your mouth it cannot be madonna piercings it cannot be snakes it cannot be dimples it cannot be lips tongue no piercings in the mouth any other piercing or stretched earlobe i will definitely send out the oil nothing in the mouth though but yeah that's my year update you guys that's it that is all thanks for watching Mwah.